Hey Welcome. Lindsay, what are we making today? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Cooking Case and Lens. Cue Showtime music. Yeah, we're gonna cue our intro song. <laughs> Where am I? I'm just kidding. Wait, what actually happened to my knife? There's like a huge, like a little like dip in it. Wait, I have something to tell you. What? We've had two knives this size go missing in my apartment. <laughs> what happened? We have no idea. Two knives. This size have gone <laughs> missing in my apartment. If you're into true crime, we're gonna make an episode. But the other day, Matt deadass got real serious. He thought he was like, I'm starting to get really scared. <laughs> Cause he thinks I'm like gonna- No, 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 no. Oh, See, like murder. the boys can't do that because when the boys are scared, I'm like, okay, I'm fucking out of here. Oh no, he wasn't scared for anyone else. He thought I was gonna murder him. <laughs> he thought I was hiding the knives to murder him. He's like, I'm starting to get really freaked out by you. Yeah, say you better not cross the line. But seriously, how did you two knives this me? size go missing in our apartment? <laughs> we had a butcher knife, like dead ass, like butcher. Wait, squirt. Casey, are you accidentally throwing them away or something? No, I think uh, we gotta like move our. I think we need to investigate. Yeah, yeah, true crime. Investigate Gase and Matt and see for legal reasons. Who cut, would have cut this in case head. anything? In case Matt is yeah, true crime. Time. I'm kidding. Anyway. <laughs> okay, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kaysen. It's been a hot minute, people. I'm so excited because I love our cooking videos. I watch our one all the time. You do? I watch it what all the time. What do we make Oh, the butternut squash. Ooh. Ooh. I'm really Wait, Lindsay's like sous chef in these situations. No, you're not. Casey, you're a great cook. I, you downgraded my knife last <laughs> You're like, let's give you a knife a little bit more. I was all over the place. Yeah. She does you a little rogue. But no, we're back. And you know what? It's Super Bowl season. It is game time. Lindsay, who's playing in the Super Bowl this year? <laughs> Put me on. I have no idea. I actually thought the Broncos? Or no, no. <laughs> the Browns. <laughs> Wait, someone with a B. The Colts. No. Well, it's actually a trick question because this is the final today and then they'll figure it out next week. Do you know who is in the lineup? <laughs> oh, Kurt, yes I do. Wait, do you know? It's the LA Rams are playing the Bears. No, the LA Rams, the Bengals. The Bengals. The Bengals, the LA Rams. Who's in the Super Bowl, babe? The 49ers. Who else, Shane? And the, I said the Rams, we need one more. Goddamn. Chiefs. Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs. Our boy Patrick. Mahomes. But by the this time it, by the time that you guys watch this, it will have we'll we'll know a little bit more. Yeah. I said so to myself before I was like, I'm gonna ask Lindsay who's playing. You're so mean. Call me out. <laughs> but look, this is like this is this is real life because if who gives a shit who's playing? What we care about is the food. Yeah. You know. Hell yeah. Seriously. So you know like, what we're making for the Super Bowl? We're making Lindsay's Buffalo Poly. Don't say Lindsay. It is your buffalo oh, cauliflower. No, 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 it's just buffalo cauliflower. It if you learn, this is Lindsay's buffalo cauliflower recipe, and we're gonna link it in the description. Because who doesn't love a good wing on the Super Bowl? Mm. A little crispy, a little spicy, a little dipping sauce. Oh wait, we forgot the goddamn buffalo sauce. Oh my gosh, Jesus. Oh, really? And also we have two. Wow. Yes. Lol. I'm indecisive. Wait, wait this sounds more like. This one's the mild. Oh, the mild. From, okay, this okay. is the one that I normally use. The medium's hot in that. I know. I know. Wait, this one. I can't imagine of... what the actual hot was. Wait, because... this one's kind of cool though because it has pineapple juice concentrate. Mm -hmm. It's like the sweetener in it. Oh, we like that. Healthy. And then there's also this buffalo sauce, which I thought was cool because it's creamy and it was on sale. Oh, cool. Have you tried this one? No. We should Looks do a little good. taste test. We should do a taste test. Because it's it's interesting to try and find a healthy barbecue or buffalo sauce. Oh well. But you probably it. could do barbecue cauliflower too. <gasps> oh yeah. Shane loves barbecue, right? Yeah. Tell him. <laughs> He's it. like, period. Love it. Word. <laughs> okay, so Wait, today. <laughs> Wait, can you cut out all the parts of me acting like? <laughs> Or if I edit this, I'm literally just gonna, it's just gonna be Lindsay. I'm gonna cut myself out first. <laughs> no, 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 I'll edit this because you're funny. Okay, we're gonna start by preheating the oven. Oh, we're going already. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Buckle okay. up. Buckle up. It's. Alright. We're going. Okay. Let's we're go. gonna Let's start go. by preheating the oven to 450. Okay, cool. 
We want this bitch roasty toasty. Oh yeah, 450. Hot and heavy. I mean, these apartment stoves, what do they even go up to? I know. <laughs> Mine's really cool. actually broken and sometimes it will randomly just turn off, but it doesn't tell you that it's off. And then you check your food and it's like, oh, oh it's not cooking. That sucks. I know, it's okay. You really don't need a lot for this recipe at all. Obviously you need the cauliflower, but you're gonna make a little batter with some flour and then some egg whites. And then you're gonna dredge that in some panko breadcrumbs. These ones are gluten-free because we're healthy. And then um, salt, pepper and buffalo sauce that's it and then we also have some like vegetables because who doesn't love a little crunch mm -hmm. from nope. the veggies yeah right love it. love it we gotta cut this bitch up cut, cut it. a bitch up nothing like cutting a bitch up cut it she has a friend over her <laughs> like nothing like cutting a bitch up oh my god <laughs> uh, uh, you guys swear we're usually not this weird okay so we need to cut the cauliflower. Okay, yeah, we're gonna cut it up. What we're are you gonna call me out for again? What were you about to call me out for? No, I just threw a patient into me like, Dave, you need to stop freaking my friend. Anyway, we're cutting the cauliflower, okay? We got it. Step one. <laughs> Take your head and cut it in half. We're really, do you rinse your cauliflower ones? Do you? No, I don't. Not if it's organic. We want that dirt. Good, yeah. good microbiome. Good soil. <laughs> good soil in the gut, yeah. <laughs> Extra crunch. Am I making you anxious with this? The way I'm cutting this? No, not at all. I know you are. I know I am. I. <laughs> <laughs> and that could have been your finger, okay? If you're not careful. You're doing amazing. How does everyone else cut their cauliflower, okay? I'm just gonna say, in my kitchen at home, things get a little rough. <laughs> and then I usually she just go. I just go right down the middle. Is that oh, what you no. do? No, okay. no, no. Okay. No. All right. Well, let Lindsay do it. Well, okay. Lindsay, do it. What I like to do is take the cauliflower and on the in. Okay, wait. They can't even see what we're doing. Also, can we have the pronunciation? Lindsay says cauliflower. Cauliflower. <laughs> what is it? Cauliflower. <laughs> okay. Goes, cauliflower. Anyway, it's fine. Okay. I like the way you say it. Thank you. So, what you're going to do is on the cauliflower head where the little, like, nub is. I like to take that part and cut that in half. This is gonna seem so weird, but when you do that, like, wait for the giant truck to arrive. <laughs> like, really, like, wants you to know how big his TV is. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've cut it down the middle, now you can literally just like separate the two. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a brain. Let's be real. Pulling flour looks like a brain. It does. But now you don't have like the florets, mm -hmm. like the little trees falling all over the place. Mm -hmm. And then, wait, 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 no, no. And then you take that half and then you'll cut out the like mm -hmm. big stalk. And then you basically cut off like all the little cauliflower things. So you have nice formed pieces. Yeah. So now you have like just the florets and then you can break these apart. Isn't that so easy? Wow, Linz. I know. You would know how to cut a cauliflower perfect. Ugh, My ass path. would turn this shit into cauliflower rice so quick. <laughs> but you can like break it up if you want like smaller pieces. Sometimes I kind of like like a little crunchy Ooh, bit. Yeah, like a little yeah. crunchy end. And then if you have really, really big ones, like this one's really big, you can cut it in half. And I always just cut the stalk and then I rip it because then it's like all the florets don't break. <gasps> wow, this is mesmerizing. Yeah, usually my whole thing, wow. Who knew there was such a method to cutting a cauliflower? Did you read that somewhere or you just figured it out? Um, no, I just figured it out. Oh. Because that's how crazy I am. I was thinking of ways to be more efficient in the kitchen, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do the other one now. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Like how far up you? Oh. <laughs> Shit. You're doing great. While she's doing that, I'm gonna line the baking sheet with some parchment paper because that will make it so the cauliflower doesn't stick. I actually think that this recipe is oil free. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's like it cool. actually crisps up because of the egg whites. Like it'll crisp up. Ah. 
and like you don't need that like fried i mean unless you want to add a little bit of oil to give it that like friedness which would be really good too yeah it would be good while she's doing that i'm gonna start the batter which is three egg whites which gives it like that light crispy crust Ooh. eggs kind of freak me out i won't lie yeah these look good though the fact that they're so orange yeah they definitely do this is it She's good. That's it. You just break them um, up into little florets. <laughs> Cauliflower and broccoli is so cute when it's just like a little bouquet. I know, like, like hey, I'm honey tree. And then the recipe calls for some type, it calls for tapioca flour, but I don't actually have tapioca flour right now. So we're just gonna use this gluten-free flour, which has tapioca in it. Cool. Oh, perfect. I forgot to write on the recipe on my website how much tapioca flour you need. So, for some reason I feel like it's like a third of a cup, but I don't remember. So we'll start with a little bit less than that. Okay. We're just basically making like a little batter. Why is it good to use like a tapioca flour? Because it's like finely milled? Just because it's gluten free. Like oh, I just okay. wanted them to be like gluten free. Got Um. Okay, wait, we also have to add some salt and some pepper to the batter mix because that's kind of like what will season the cauliflower. What do you think? What's the, what's the consistency? It's supposed to be like pancake mix? Thinner? Thicker? Thinner than pancake mix. Okay, yeah, that's good to start with. Yikes! <laughs> this is not all right. Oh, it's, it wouldn't be a recipe if, but you know, we didn't have a couple of little hiccups. I feel like this is coming together a little bit better. Okay. Right? Yep. <laughs> just Who needs like, working out when you can, literally, when you can sit in the kitchen? You just gotta really put your back into it. Okay, wait. Oh, that's good. That's that was good. good, right? Yeah. Okay, so you want it to be like a thin consistency. So maybe, I almost feel like we should add a little bit more flour. No? Okay. I feel like it was a fourth of a cup. Okay, so it's a fourth of a cup of flour. <laughs> That's why we do this. Because you kind of want it to be like thick enough to like kind of sit on there. Yeah. And coat it. Yeah. Okay, so that's like a good consistency. So pretty. pretty kind of like crepe batter. Oh, that's a good one. Crepe. Now that we have our batter, I usually just dump all of the cauliflower in there. Is that weird? Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. I think that's probably efficient and then just like shake it around. Yeah. You're just tossing it around. They're all coated. And then in another dish, we're going to put our gluten-free breadcrumbs. Oh wow, you coated them all really nicely. <gasps> She's preheated. Oh, nice. I don't think he's up quick. I could air fry it too, right? That would be so good. Wow, can you see this? Oh. Okay, so our oven is now preheated and we have our baking pan. Watch, yeah. watch out veggies. Line with some parchment paper. And we have our gluten-free breadcrumbs. See how what we do is literally just take them, toss it around, and then you can put it on the parchment paper. And they're nice and coated. Okay. These are gonna be crispy. I can feel it. I can feel it in my loins. <laughs> Isn't it such a simple recipe? It like comes together so easily. Yeah. Like it seems like a lot of work, but then when you're like, oh, this really only has like six ingredients, you're like, okay, that's really easy. Yeah, it's like totally doable. Wait, everyone should comment down below, what is your favorite Super Bowl food? That's such a good one, yeah. Because it's like appetizers, like you know what I mean? And oh, I yeah. live for like an appetizer's moment. A hundred percent. Rain on me. <laughs> Make it rain, yeah, yeah getting into the food porn industry. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna bake these for 30 minutes and then flip them and then cook them for another 10 minutes. So let's do that. Wait, before I do it, do you think that we should spray it with a little bit of oil? What do you wanna do? I don't, it's not required for the recipe, 
but like for a little extra crunch, should we maybe? Do you want just a little? A little spritz? Yeah. If I didn't have olive oil spray, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Because like this will give it a very fine little coating. But like, let's try it out. It's like a facial mist back in your makeup. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> You what do we think? Is that good? Perfect. Yeah, I feel like okay. that's good. Wow. Okay, so we're you can spritz with oil if you want that extra crunch. crunch. Okay. Will you open up the oven for me? I will. Are you ready? Throw her in there. All right. Good luck in there, guys. See you Come later, back guys. with a PhD. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Should we do a hot sauce taste test? Let's do a hot sauce. Taste test. Well, this one is like more creamy. The Noble Maid one is the one that we usually get. Case gets mild because she likes a little hair on her chest. I do like a thick, hairy chest. <laughs> <sighs> and then there's also this one from Primal Kitchen. Yeah. That's a little bit creamier. Which neither of us have had. Yeah. Wait, this one always smells like. I don't know if I like that one. That smell. It smells, yeah. That one smells like mayonnaise. That one smells like blue cheese. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna try this one. Which do we need to do a taste test for this? We've already. This is like your classic buffalo. The ingredients are actually pretty freaking fuego too. They're really clean. Yum. So good. So good. That is so good. Literally so good. I'm definitely buying the mild next time because that's Ooh. so much more palatable. That is good. And I like that they use the little touch of pineapple juice. And I like that it's a big bottle, honestly. That is huge. Yeah, you get a lot of bang, a lot back your butt. Okay, let's try the next one. This one we're not sure about. It's creamy from the cashew butter. Ooh. Wait, that's actually really good too. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's not as hot saucy because yeah. it's kind of creamy. Yeah, it has like a little Let's put the ending flavor is great. Ending flavor is really Matches good. Matches that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, both really good. Oh, yeah. I like them both. This one, especially if you like ranch mm. with your like buffalo, I feel like this is like more like creamy, almost like buffalo dressing like. Yeah, that's true. Or like if you make like My pizza God. and you want like buffalo oh, on it, this would this be really This would be good. so much better as like mm -hmm. a, a pizza dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. And then this is like your classic like hot sauce buffalo. Yeah, just like 10 out of 10 flavor. Is flavor is really yeah. good, yeah. Ooh, I like both, but for different reasons. Okay, let's prep our veggies. Wow, this look. It is tiny baby radish. Okay, look at this root. Yeah, wow. A lot of these radishes are really good. Are they so good? Mmm. Nothing like a crunchy radish. She looks smart. She does. She looks like she is best in class. <laughs> she does. Wait, are you lying? Because I feel like no. because it's pointy, it's like she is smart. Oh, the purple carrot on the inside. She's beautiful. It just went off. It just zinged after the 30 minute mark. Yep, the timer just went off. Yep, so it's been 30 minutes. We gotta take it out and flip her up. Wow. They're looking really good so far. They're looking great. Right? So good. Wow, they look great. Wow, they look so good. They're already mm -hmm. really crispy. Should we just finger? And flip them. Wow. Don't they look really good so oh my far? God, they look insane. They're so crispy feeling. Yeah, they are crisp AF. That crunch. Do you hear that? Wait, I'm gonna try. Wait, I'm gonna show them a little. Mmm. So good. Wait, that okay, is wait. so good. Okay, so this is where we're at right now with crunch level. This is insane. Can you hear that? She's crunchy. <laughs> she is crunchy. Okay, but it has to cook for 10 more minutes just to brown up a little bit on that side too. We, I love these little guys. Here, you want half of it? So mm. crunchy. And this is one head of cauliflower too. I feel like yeah. that's like a decent amount. I was worried that we weren't gonna have enough. Wait, is this not the easiest recipe so ever? So easy, and literally that was, so that was way better than any buffalo cauliflower I've ordered out. Literally? And it's not even done yet. It was just so crispy. I've never had it that crispy before. So good. 
Okay. Wait, you should talk about the sauce you made. This is some homemade ranch that I made last night, but it's basically just veganese, cashews, a little bit of lemon juice, some herbs, a little bit of nutritional yeast. I feel like it's like the nutritional yeast dill and onion powder that give it that like Hidden Valley Ranch flavor. And this is really easy to make. It's so funny as short people, like we never use the top shelves. I know. It's ours, it's They're too They're empty. We have two. Which one should I use? Wait, do you want to try the ranch? Yeah, I do want to try the ranch. I used a different type of vegan aids, and my favorite one is Follow the Heart, and this one's not Follow the Heart, and I like the Follow the Heart one a little bit better. Mm. Is it okay? So good. That really does really taste like ranch. So good. It's okay. It's not the best. It's better with the Follow Your Heart vegan aids. Wait, I don't know what you're talking about. This is literally fire. Literally flames. So good. It really just tastes like ranch lens. Like really does, right? Mm -hmm. How many more minutes? Five oh, long this minutes. This is the longest five minutes of my entire life. Okay, a minute and ten seconds. Let's do a countdown. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am literally so <laughs> triggered. These look so good. They are cooked to perfection. Wow. They're perfect. Cauliflower reveal. Oh, they're coming towards you guys. <laughs> Drops the little tray. Anyway. <laughs> Let's do it this way. Let's point to the one that we, we think we should do it with. I hope that we pick the same one because if we don't, it's going to be really sad. Oh my God, I'm so out of one, two, three. <sighs> Thank God. Yeah, it's this one. I think because the flavor hits immediately. Mm -hmm. Where this one's kind of like delayed a little bit. Yeah, because it's like mellower. Yeah. Okay, so this is like a definitely like a punch. Bar, yeah. It's a punch of bottle. But it's a close, it was a close race. Yeah, you could have picked either and we would have been happy in eating yeah. the rest of it. Okay, so. So now you toss them. Is that too much? No. So then we'll, they literally look like buffalo chicken tenders. Yeah, wow, they really do. Wow. wow. Oh my god, these look they look like wings. And then we'll put some micro, is it weird if we put micro greens on? No, it about? Mm, you gotta make it cute, you know. Wow. Aw, they're cute. No, they fell into their ranch. Okay, this is the final product. <gasps> wow. That looks so good. That looks so good. Oh. Wait, stop. I'm getting jealous. I'm getting jealous. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Okay. That is hands down. These are better than chicken wings. Seriously. Wait, this is so good. It's actually insane. The crunch. Wait, is it good? It's insane. Not even good. It's amazing. It's so good. Oh, they're spicy. They're spicy, yeah. That's why I'm okay. But... Seriously? Sauce. I can't believe that's mild and it's spicy. Yeah, wow, damn. Wait, but seriously, this is mm. insane. I don't sound even good, bad for you. Which is the craziest part, because this feels like it would be bad for you. It feels so naughty. It feels so naughty. Wow, it's so good. Mm. That is literally... And a rototill? Beautiful. I can't stop. I can't be stopped. What the heck? This is so good. Wait, honestly, two? You can do this with barbecue, like whatever your favorite wing sauce is, mm -hmm. put it on. Fuck, we should have saved some and did some barbecue. Well, no, I'm just saying like this is, they're so crunchy, like. Okay, let us stuff our faces. We will get out of your hair. Hopefully you guys like this Cooking with Case and Lens episode. Let us know what you guys want to see next. Hit us with a, Thumbs up. A thumbs up, yeah. Hit us with a thumbs up. Did you say we post videos every Friday? New videos every Friday. What a do. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs> While Casey is cutting the cauliflowers, the cauliflowers, <laughs> florets. We're getting yoked up in here. Friends help friends. <laughs> oh, they're sweet. Ever since we learned about the Mona Lisa being stolen in 1911. <laughs> I would tell you, it's like my party trick. I'm like, did you know Mona Lisa was stolen in 1911 for two years? 
<laughs> okay, relax. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, I wonder if people have OnlyFans for their food porn. <gasps> if not, that's an untapped market. It really is. And now, I will juggle these radishes. Oh, wow, we have blue battery. Should we change the battery? Yeah, we should like change the sticker before we get started again. We should do what? No, <laughs> this. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> we should change his diaper. Like it's a baby. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. If we made one more weird ass reference, <laughs> no. I think I'm leaving. I think we're in a weird mood. I'm personally in a weird mood. I'm struggling. I'm feeling with, really with What weirdness. are you struggling with? I'm struggling with weirdness. <laughs> you know, a five second roll <laughs> if you drop anything into the trash. Crunchy. Get in your house, girls. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls eat, eat their microgreens. Micro that was so annoying. <laughs> that was so annoying. Ah, cut that out. You are a oh, these radish. little mini guys. They're so cute. Little radishes. Do you guys like radishes? Leave in the comments if you love, love a radish. radish. Vital Farms, hashtag sponsored. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Vital Farms, for something. Just kidding. Uh, can we just stuff our faces? Happy Super Bowl. Happy sports. Go sports. Go team.